Hi everybody. Uh, this is going to be something different for me today. Uh, this is a two foot by two foot board. It's an MDF board, uh, one fourth inch. And I saw Sue Finlay do a beautiful, beautiful uh, pour, multi, you know, mixed media piece that I've seen her do recently. And she used foil. And uh, so it was so interesting to me that I just wanted to try to do my best to see if I could create it similar to hers, you know. So I, I'm really looking forward to doing this. I've got this primed on both sides. I put two coats of primer on both sides. And so I'm going to um, put the foil on here, but I'm going to make it kind of wrinkly like first. Do you think? So let me see how far I've got to go with it. There, I need two of them. Okay. I need that much and not this much. Okay. That should work. So I'm going to go ahead and make it kind of wrinkly. Um, and we'll pull it back out. This is not actually going to be used for another. Eh, I don't know, 12 hours or so, because I'm going to first use some Mod, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, <laughs> Mod Podge, to put down the, uh, I'll straighten it back out when it's time to use it. I'm going to be putting that on here, the Mod Podge. And Then I'll work on putting this on it, and when it dries, I'll put the extra parts of it, I'll take off the extra parts. So, for now, this is just going to sit to the side, and uh, I'm going to see if I can get my little thing here to work, because they've been tearing up on me lately. I ordered some that really wasn't a good batch. Hope I have enough to put on here. <laughs> Let me take some of this off from around the top. Oh my goodness. Yep. It's a mess. But that's okay. Let's see if I can put it in the garbage. And not completely all over me. I'm going to knock it out. All right. Okay, let's see what we can get done here. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this down first, and my uh, initial thing to do, I was thinking of, was a, uh, probably a, a island-like, but I don't have quite what I really want for that, so that'll be something for another day, of course. Now, y'all know what you hear now that is squeaking. When you hear it, it is my, uh, <laughs> it is my table. And my table squeaks terribly. But that's okay. I really wish I had a regular brush for this. I just uh, ordered uh, a little wide brush because I don't have one anymore. I need to get a lot of different brushes. Mine are very old <laughs> and um, really don't work so well anymore. They just don't. Some of them is just no good at all. And I use them for like stuff like this actually if I can. Then I don't have one that's good enough to use for this. And sometimes I'll use them for different things. And I know I can't use them anymore afterwards. Got a lot of something in here, but I don't know what. 
about time for me to get some more of this too. <laughs> I'm like down at the bottom trying to see if I can get it all out. one here. Yep, more stuff. <laughs> okay, more stuff. I am putting it down kind of thick because I really want to make sure it's, it stays good, you know, like where I want it. And apparently this project is going to take a few days to do, but that's okay. We'll do some other things in between while well, this thing here does its drying and whatnot. Okay, I'm getting ready to put the uh, foil on it. Yes, we are. Oil well, getting ready to go down, baby. It's going down. I'm gonna see how it do. Okay. All right. Sit that there. And start with the bigger piece. I can do this without tearing it. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can do this without tearing it. This is fine. Fine, fine. I'm going it over here so I don't tear it. if you can see me or not. I don't think so, but that's what I'm doing. Trying to open it up. Okay. And then I'm going to oops, set this place over there. And up here. Okay. That should be set there. Try to rub it out now. <laughs> yeah, I don't want no air up under it, as, you know, as less as possible anyway. Possible. 
And I'm going to put some on here because I had to have the two pieces. And uh, I'm not going to tear it off until it's dry so that hopefully it'll stick to it where I want to, where I want it to. Tuck that under there for now. Tuck that under there for now. Okay, let's see. All right. Now I'm going to have to get this one loose and hope it fits over here. Getting a little gnat or something in here. I had the door open earlier. And boy, this time of the year, I'm in Georgia, you guys, and this time of the year, we get everything. Gnats, mosquitoes, mosquito eaters, love bugs. Ugh. Um, palmetto bugs, which is gigantic roaches. They breed in the palmetto trees. So I am putting the dull side down and the bright side up. If you're wondering, I think that's what uh, Miss Sue Finley did. Pretty sure, but not positive. Okay, let me see. This is going to go like that. So, okay. A little brush thing. Here we go. Okay, let's see if I can get this one here. I'm not sure how far over, but once it's dry, it won't matter. It dry is clear anyway. Get all the creases. so cool because I just had a brand new thing of foil. <laughs> I had just gotten a brand new thing of foil. I was like, yay, I got foil. <laughs> I was like, do I have everything I need for that? Well, I didn't have everything, like I said, that I need for the, I was going to make a uh, island like, and I don't have everything I wanted for that. But it's something that if this works out well for me, that I will do in the future because I think that would be cool. Okay, let's see if we can get this on here to cover. Oh, okay, we didn't need as much as I thought of the, of the glue. Got a lot of excess glue over there, but that's all right. That's okay. We can actually wipe it off if I need to. I'm going to get a little bit of a paper towel and some water on it. Uh, put it from here. Okay. Yeah. We'll just wipe some of that off. There ain't much of it going to come off, but you know, it won't be as thick as it was and it'll dry clear and everything, so it'll be all right. I hope that don't dull it too much for the effect I'm wanting. Hmm. Maybe I should put some of the extra over there, huh? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I should put some of the extra over there. To keep it from getting dull. Let it just let's see. An extra under here. I could do oops. Maybe a little 
bits at a time if we want to. See how it goes. Or if not, it'll come back up and it'll be alright. <laughs> yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Either it'll work or it won't. Not a big deal. Not really, really. Okay, I'll get that extra there. Well, I didn't work out that great, did it? Alright, let's just get a piece of foil to cover that little space there. And that way, we don't have to worry about whether or not it's going to be shiny there. Because I don't know when that dries if that's going to be able to leave it as shiny as I want it to be. You know? So, let's see. We shall find out. We sure really, really shall find out. That's for sure. Let's come on here. Alright, good enough, good enough. Probably if I put something on it. Uh huh. Like. Da -da, something to make it heavy. Right? That'll work. That'll work. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Let's stay on it. Nice and heavy. There we go. you guys well this is my first attempt so we're gonna see how it turns out now once probably late tonight or either tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the excess off of this then I'm gonna paint around it black I think like she did I'm really following what she did a whole lot. <laughs> Not being too creative with my own. But for the first thing, I just want to kind of get the feel of it. So I'm going to try to do the black around it. And then I'm uh, when that dries, we'll go on to something else. But yeah, I've got a lot of uh, acrylic beads. Uh, not beads, but acrylic diamonds and stuff that I've been holding. I've got different colors, so I'm not sure what colors I'm going to use or if I'm going to use clear. Um, and then I'll make my wall and then we'll get busy with the resin. So, for now, that's it. And this is my holding it in place. <laughs> I'm not worrying about that up there too much. That'll be what it'll be. Okay. Alright, you guys, so... Hang around, um, and I'll get the rest done later, later. All right, we're back. I did uh, the blue lagoon in here, and I know I've probably got, like, way too much. That's okay. Uh, because I have a... Uh, Thing out here and yeah I got a spoon from the kitchen that will never be back in the kitchen again except to get washed to come back out here yeah that's all it'll be for it'll be washed to come back out here that's it okay I can have a little bit more this is pretty thick I got it very thick not that I meant to it just you know it is very thick and I think I want some more this is going to build a barrier is what it's going to do. 
if I can do it quick enough because I'm using quick coat for the barrier. Yeah, so. Let's, there we go, there we go. Okay, so here we go. So all we're gonna do is build a barrier here with these. So as our colors will not run together when we do them. Oh, I know y'all hear that noise. That's the kittens. Someplace they ain't supposed to be. They are worse than toddlers, y'all. I'm telling you, it's something else. I've never had this much kittens in my house at one time. I'm like, have I lost my mind doing that? I think I did. I think I really, really lost, lost my head doing that one. That's just too many daggum cats for me to handle, especially kittens anyway. There was eight of them. Now there's seven. One's going to a forever home. So, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need some more. That's all right though. We'll put the rest of them on there and we'll spread them out as much as we can. I get it down before it starts to cure with these rhinestones in it. I don't know how good an idea this was. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute, though. We sure will. And the barrier is just going to keep the colors from running together, I hope for what I want on the inside of this and the outside. Well, I'm rushing, right? So like I'm throwing them everywhere. I wonder if I'll do better with my hand. Maybe so. Maybe. I don't know if I must have enough yet. I might still not have enough. I'm gonna go back around and re, you know, spread them a little bit though. I'll put them in place a little better, I guess. They look so pretty, gosh, I wish y'all could see. They really look very, very pretty. And it might be enough. Let me see if we can stretch it. I think we can. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ah, a few more. Maybe a few more in there. Mix it up quick, 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 girl. <laughs> Come on, the string. There we go. We got it. We got enough, y'all. We definitely got enough. Now, if I can get them to sit the way I want them to, we'll be all right. But yeah, that bag was really just enough. I still got a little bit left. Um, for something else, I guess. Now, I shouldn't let me run into this. I got the wall so that I'm thick, the barrier. So we'll we'll find out. Okay. 
Let's see here. something over there, put it over here. Yeah, all I'm doing is trying to uh, stretch them and get them put in the right places now. I'm drenching, soaking wet, sweating, y'all rushing. And it's kind of warm in here because I got the air turned, you know, up to like 73 so that uh, it don't get too, you know, too cold, too quick. I don't want it to cure no more quicker than it has to. And so far, it's letting me pretty much place them where I want. Without having too much trouble. No. Other than one or two here or there. Oh. Doing pretty good. Okay. I think a couple of y'all can go over here. Right in there. And spread that out a bit. Yeah. Okay. Me stand back and look at this for a second. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Feel like I was racing against a clock or somewhere. I kind of was, I guess against that quick coat clock. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to clean off my spoon and my hands and we're going to give that a little bit of time and we're going to go in now I'm going to have to mix some black with that blue to go out here because that's not dark enough for what I want. However, it looks lovely in there. I like it in there. So I may just put some more of that in there. And then I have a little bit of, um, I want something different in the middle, but I haven't quite figured out what. I don't think I have the right color out for it. But yeah, I'm... I'm going to be looking to see. Oh, I think I can do a little bit of a deep ocean green in the little, I mean, in the middle, and then do some of that and around it. And, yep, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Because guess what I have also, too? These little small ones, though. Um, green yeah <laughs> and they're real light colored though so we'll see i don't know we're gonna stick them out there <laughs> we might find a place for them we just might now i'm just going around wiping a little bit where i made such a mess it's not gonna much matter though because um it's gonna be covered anyway so just want to make sure there's not no empty spaces and that the colors will be able to be guarded by this rail. So I think it will. I think it's going to work good. We'll find out for sure in a little while, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> 